a very big welcome to you to Vicarage Road. Delighted to have your company, and I'm delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Will you please welcome our visitors? Watford in our game today against Arsenal. And Arsenal will all be watching now. Well, two wins from the first two games, and already so early in the season, they've got the look of potential champions. Sends out a real message, doesn't it? Arsenal, we know they're looking good, feeling good. They had that away win recently in their last game, actually, against Leicester City. Yeah, 3-0, comfortable for them, and uh, they're flying at the moment. I think they'll win again. Well, there are players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Oh, I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me, for both their teams. Here's Watford, and this is how they're going to line up. Alon Barami starts looking to recover his form. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. One change for Arsenal today. Perecek starts in goal. Monreal starts alongside Hector Bellerin in the full-back positions. Theo Walcott starts with Alex Iwobi on the flanks. In attack, Olivier Giroud starts. He was man of the match last time out. If you don't know Watford, we're just sort of outside northwest London. It's not that far away from Wembley. And Watford Football Club have had some times in the, the lower reaches of English football, but now they're back at the top table again. Yeah, and I'm delighted about that. It's only 15 minutes from my house, so all power to Watford. What's this game going to bring us? We'll find out very shortly now, won't we, because the game is underway. Stefano Akaka. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Slip past his marker. Defender to it first. What's the keeper doing here? That's good support play from his teammates. Into the attacking third. To put them in front. Good challenge. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Now, Javi Alonso. Let's get across to Goodison Park and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Stoke City. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. That'll be a throw. It won't be. Granani Chaka. Came in with a challenge. Nordin Amrabat. Attacking now. And the defender has blocked the cross and he's done it well. And that'll be a corner. <laughs> and that's deflected behind. It will be a corner.
Good play from the referee here, playing the advantage. It's a useful position, this, for the free kick. Referee's shown the card, it's yellow to the Arsenal man. Yeah, and uh, the referee's angle was perfect, he had a great view. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he's dived in, it's a reckless one. over the top of the bar by some distance. Well, just a chance to tell you about a confirmed transfer here. Mats Hummels has moved on to Bayern Munich. Well, he arrives with a reputation and a bit of a price tag now, around £50 million. Can he handle it? Javi Alonso. Alexis Sanchez, the away team might be a little bit short on firepower today, Alan, because one of their main strikers has uh, got himself banned from this game. Yeah, might just limit their ambition and just try and nick something on the counter-attack without the main striker. Good challenge here. Meza Ozil moving forward with menace. Gone for the through pass. Berami. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. Nacho Monreal. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. And in goes the cross. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Nacho Monreal. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Stefano Akaka. There's some potential in this move. Looking to play his teammate through. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Alan McAnally is watching the game at Everton and there's a penalty at Goodison. It's a penalty for Everton. It's going to be Leighton Baines. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes, chance, oh lovely, straight down the middle, always tough for goalkeeper. 33 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. Mesut Ozil. It's looking good, this move. Defender to it first. Niang comes in strongly. Quick into the tackle, and the result is going to be a throw. Niang. Stefano Akaka. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Now that's gone behind for a corner. Below par, Meza Ozil. Well, sometimes it can happen. You know, you're doing what you normally do and your team's just not had enough good possession to get the ball into you in good areas. That's the case here, I think. Niang! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. chance for back-to-back -back wins for the new manager having been successful in his second game in charge his game number three and we need to take shape under him I think so I mean there were signs that he's getting the players on side and another win here the crowd will be right behind him oh he's totally to take the lead he's missed the target by quite a lot in the end
Javi Alonso. Attacking well here. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes. Ozil! He's got that and cleared the ball away and saved his side from a, a difficult situation. Comes in strongly. Well, he's threaded the pass through neatly. And he can take possession in his own half. Well read by the defender. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Well, he's been in the game, hasn't he? That's the best we can say for him. Um, but not everything he's tried has come off. He's been a shadow of his normal self out there. So unlike him and hasn't had a chance hardly. Here we go in the second half, hoping and indeed expecting a bit better fare than the first half provided. Yeah, managers, both managers, got a bit of work to do just to, to G them up. Need a bit of urgency in the legs. They might open them up now. This with the jump, and they've scored now. And the significance is that they're in front. You've got to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net. But the goalkeeper was in a decent position, but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in. First goal of the game in this second half. Great Kafka. Well, we've got a goal to tell you about Alan McAnally from the King Power Stadium. It's a goal for Swansea City. 50 minutes, please. 1 0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. And he's presented the ball to the opposition. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of... Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Attacking now. Cleverly. And the pass not completed, really. Nordin Amrabat. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Granani Chaka. Now, what is the referee going to do here? Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? They're playing Southampton in the next match. I think it's going to be pretty easy for them. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Excellent control in a tight area. Good challenge. We've had an hour gone here and there's still 30 minutes left. And in goes the cross. Cleverly! He's kept it out. And the cross comes in now. Done well to get it wide, not done. The players haven't put the ball out, they're playing on, but the referee said no, he's worried about the player and he stopped the game. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. Coming up the pitch, 
to be replaced by number 20. While well, the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Kokola. Gilfi Sigurdsson. It's in the laws, the advantage, and referee applying it well then. Nordin Amrabat. Pereira. Into the attacking third. And it will go into the middle now. Niang. Arsenal give away the free kick. They've coped with it well defensively. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think we could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. And on the home bench, a substitute is clearly getting ready to come on. A substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. <laughs> Time-wasting, Alan, do you think, from the away team here they've got a win perhaps uh, in their sights now if they do well but there are other ways of seeing it through from here yeah well you can understand it to a certain extent they've worked hard to get themselves into this position and they don't seem to have too many ambitions of getting another goal now shots on here Good judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away. Nice interplay between the two of them. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Crisp defending there. Strong, fair challenge. Ball's out for a throw, though. Francis Coquelin. Well, it's an important area to win back the ball, that. Tom Cleverley. There'll be a throw now after the tackle. No surprise there. The manager bringing him off. He got one yellow and a second wasn't too far away. Tom Cleverley. Advantage played. We love to see it. Attacking now. And the pass not completed, really. In comes the challenge. Arsenal still holding on to this one goal advantage. Danny Welbeck. Being uh, moved around nicely here with this passing game. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to g up their players. And now the shot! 
Well, it was a big opportunity and it's turned out to be a very big miss. Well, he's just swung the boot at it and in the end it's flew by by an absolute mile. So, really the wrong decision from him. Danny Welbeck. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball. Somebody in the crowd, maybe. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Yeah, that's hit the bar and it's still in play. Pereira. Still trying to find an escape route. That's a foul as a free kick. Let's have another look at that effort from Niang. Well, nothing wrong with the power. He's thumped this one, but leading back, hits the bar. We have got four added minutes. Well, that should give these players some encouragement because they've been playing pretty well and uh, they just need to take the chances now. Tom Cleverley. Well, it could lead to the equaliser this late on. They won't have many more chance. And there it is, game over, and Arsenal are the winners. There are some real heroes out there for this team, and they're all in the back line. Yeah, I mean, they threw themselves in front of shots. They did anything that they had to out there. Really brave performance from the defenders. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Chelsea with nine points. In second, Arsenal with nine points. In third, Liverpool with six points. In fourth, Everton with six points. In fifth, Crystal Palace with five points. In sixth, Hull City with five points. In seventh, Bournemouth with five points. In eighth, Swansea City with five points. Bottom of the table, Burnley with no points. And then, reading up the table, second bottom, Tottenham Hotspur with no points. Third bottom, West Ham United with no points. Fourth bottom, Watford with one point. Fifth bottom, West Bromwich Albion with one point.